After waiting for almost three hours in sub-zero temperatures, fans were rewarded when Hollywood's hottest couple arrived on the red carpet at the 62nd Berlin International Film Festival. Angelina Jolie's directorial debut in The Land of Blood and Honey at its Berlinale premiere. The film tells the story of an impossible love affair during the Bosnian War. I was really shocked. I was really quite angry about uh, what had happened. For almost four years, 40 minutes away from Italy, how did this happen? How did we not intervene? So I feel it's very important. And also I feel the themes of this war and what we can learn from this war are universal. And I think it's good to study history, to not repeat it. The film starts as a young Serb man and Muslim woman dance together. The war begins and the two are forced to choose sides. The movie has received criticism from Bosnian Serbs who claim it is a biased retelling of the war that places them as the sole villains. In the land of blood and honey is shown out of competition. French actress Isabelle Huppert also hit the red carpet for the premiere of Brillante Mendoza's Captive, a soul-searching film that follows a group of people kidnapped by Islamist separatists. Well, the most important thing in this film is that it's all about humanity. It's, a, it's all about self-perseverance. It's not about the issues, it's not about the unresolved issues and conflicts in Mindanao. Look at me! I am no Amir! Shot with a handheld camera, the film is loosely based on real-life events and tells the story of a group of holidaymakers and missionaries kidnapped in the Philippines by a separatist organization. Don't try to kill me! Don't, please, don't! 